we spent the day in Rome and I brought my camera along, so have fun watching this video. Hello there at the other end of the YouTube. My name is Sandro and I have been traveling through Italy and on the last day before we headed back home, I could spend one day in Rome. So if you are looking for inspiration to plan your city trip or if you just want to feel the magic of this ancient place, you should definitely keep on watching. Rome is the capital of Italy and probably one of the most known tourist destinations in the world. Famous buildings like the Colosseum or the Trevi Fountain attract thousands of people every day. The history of Rome goes back to the founding date of 753 BC, which makes it more than 2700 years old. So visiting definitely feels like walking through time. There are more than 2.8 million people living in this city, which is divided into 15 districts. Our day started early because we bought tickets to the most famous landmark of Rome, the Colosseum. The Colosseum is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and most of it has endured the time. The construction began in the year 70 AD and it could host up to 65,000 people watching gladiators fight, animal hunts and even sea battles since there was a time where they could fill up the middle of the arena with water. It is highly recommended to buy the tickets online because like that you can skip the waiting period in front of the Colosseum. A simple entrance costs about 24 euros, but there are also other options with tour guides which go up to 50 to 60 euros. Before you can enter, you have to go through a security check where they x-ray your baggage. So go to their website before your visit and make sure that you don't bring any illegal objects with you. We bought some audio guides for an extra fee and it was just crazy to walk through this place and to imagine how it must have been back in the days. Now we're on the level of the battlefield and it feels kind of weird knowing that like so many people died down here while people were up there cheering for them. I'm glad that I wasn't born in that century for sure. After approximately one hour, we had seen most of what there was to discover and we left the Colosseum. It was very interesting learning about the whole history of this place. It's crazy what happened here and I can understand that it's one of the greatest landmarks on Earth. The next attraction waiting for us was the Old Roman Forum. The Roman Forum is a rectangular plaza surrounded by the ruins of several ancient government buildings in the old city center of Rome. The site of elections, public speeches, criminal trials and other commercial affairs. The good thing, the entrance to the Forum is included in the ticket that you use to go to the Colosseum. When we arrived, there was already quite a line in front of the entrance, so we had to wait about 10-15 minutes to get in. There are several signs with information about all those historic buildings but if you're particularly interested it might be smart to get a tour guide because sometimes we were not really sure what we were looking at because some of those ruins are really just ruins. It really feels like walking through history like all old stones on the ground. I wish that I could time travel and just see how it used to be back in the days. Another smart thing to remember is to bring a hat sunscreen and a bottle of water because we were there in September and still the sun was so hot we got nice and crispy. Thankfully they have a lot of water fountains around the forum so you can just keep filling up your bottle and stay hydrated. So I'm now walking up the Palatine Hill and this is the place where the whole city was founded first so this is where Rome basically start it. After a few steps up the hill, you can step out to the lookout platform and enjoy the magnificent view. So it's also pretty crowded, but over there you can stand and enjoy the view. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Have a look-see over the edge. There is so much beautiful architecture to discover. Like for example, back here, the museum, the, what is it called, Meg? I honestly couldn't tell you, it's like 10 words. 
even if you're not looking for any specific attraction, just by walking through the city, you are sure to stumble across numerous beautiful ancient buildings. For example, the Victor Emmanuel II National Monument, which is this building made from white marble with impressive staircases and pillars and a statue made to honor the first king of unified Italy, Victor Emmanuel II, and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Rome is strongly associated with the Catholic faith, so it is no surprise that the city has more than 900 churches, many of which are extremely old and beautiful and definitely worth a visit. We stopped by the St. Agnes in Agone Church in Piazza Navona and I was impressed by all the details and the decorations and the paintings. I definitely never saw a church like this before. So the best way to get around, which is probably not the safest way to get around, but are those little electric scooters. So there are multiple companies and you just download the app, you put your credit card and then you're good to go. So let's go explore Rome. So behind me is the Pantheon. How do you say it? Pan yes, Pantheon. Pantheon. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple which was then converted into a Catholic church in the year 609 AD. The entrance is free and all you have to do is just line up and wait until it's your turn to enter the building. On your way in, you can admire the huge pillars at the entrance before entering the main room. What makes the Pantheon really special is the large domed ceiling with a hole in the middle, which is called an oculus. Even today, almost 2000 years after it was built, the Pantheon's dome remains the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. If you hear the sound of running water and you see a huge crowd, you are probably at the Trevi Fountain. This beautiful landmark of Rome is probably the most famous fountain in the world. Look at all those people everywhere. But yeah, a place like this must be crowded. I mean, look at this. People come here to toss a coin in the fountain and then make a wish. The whole design is so aesthetic. You have those beautiful statues and the water flowing from everywhere. So it is definitely worth to step by and take some pictures. When the sun begins to set over the unique Roman skyline, the true magic of this city is revealed. The best thing to do at this time is to just find a nice rooftop bar somewhere, sip a Negroni and soak in this view. Cheers to Rome. Lay your head on my chest. If you happen to get a little hungry at this point, don't worry. Like almost everywhere in Italy, you find countless restaurants with delicious food. Treat yourself to some homemade pasta and a glass of red wine before wandering through the romantic streets of Rome, exploring the nightlife, the street performers, and for sure, some gelato before heading back home for the night. If you are traveling through Italy and you have the chance to stop in Rome, you definitely have to do it. For sure, in one day you have no chance to go and discover all the hidden gems of this beautiful city. So if you have any other tips or recommendations that I didn't cover in my video, go write them in the comments for all the other viewers. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you found some inspiration to plan your trip to Rome. And just in case you're now like, thank you Sandro, I just had such a great time watching this video and I would like to give you something back. It is very easy, just hit the thumbs up and share the video, share the channel on your Instagram, on your Facebook, I don't care. Tell it to your friends, to your parents, to your grandparents, everything. 
very much appreciated. So um, don't forget to subscribe. I see you in the next video. Goodbye. That's it. Ugh. Audio check works properly. Sure to stumble upon. Stumble across. Oh, I nailed that. And I have to fix my hair. The recording, still everything's good. Look at that, I should go to the hairdresser. Beautiful and definitely worth a visit. Nailed it! Nailed it. <laughs> Yes, lights on, computers on, laptops here. Okay, a day in Rome.